Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a weekly vlog. I say weekly, it's going to be basically just every evening in my life for a week because I do work 9 to 5 and I will not be taking my camera into work and showing you work stuff but I will be taking you kind of with me and what I do every evening after work and how I get on so I hope you enjoy. This vlog is going to be pretty interesting because I'm so busy this week after work. I'm seeing three shows this week, going to one kind of ball, I guess you'd call it, and then I'm also going out for dinner on Friday, so super busy week. Every single evening I'll be going into central London, which is a nightmare because you're going through rush hour, but the plan this week is pretty busy and I think it'd be interesting for you guys to see it in a vlog, so I hope you enjoy and let's get into the video. Hi! So we made it to the theatre. We are we've got the best seats ever. We are basically in the middle, basically in the front. And it is about to begin in probably about two minutes. I think this is only my second play I've ever seen in my pub. So yeah, I'm definitely <laughs> definitely a musical fan. But plays is venturing out of my comfort zone, so I've come with Nina, my friend who I met in Barcelona, and we are now cultural buddies. <laughs> or I try I try to be as cultured as Nina. I try. We have made it to the interval. I had no idea actually, now that we have watched half of it. Yeah, it's all improvised, which is so cool. So it's the interval and then we're gonna go back in a minute after we get a drink in a few. Amazing tonight. I'm so impressed. I didn't know what to expect. I originally thought it was a play, you know, the classic scripted play, but it's like an improv, choose a title at the start. I think they were all kind of like puns on book titles. It was so impressive how they just went with like one title that was given at the start of the show and then totally made a whole plot line to it. So impressive and actually really funny. It's about quarter to ten, ten o'clock now, and I'm gonna head home because it's Monday. And as I said at the start of this video, I have a full week of shows to go to. I can't remember everything that I said when I was walking home, but basically, show was brilliant. And I've got another one tomorrow, which was also given to me by London Theatre, so thank you to them. I'm gonna go to bed right now. I'll be up at six tomorrow, whole thing again, and another show. Tomorrow I'm seeing on Blueberry Hill. Hey! So it is Tuesday, it's nearly six o'clock, and I'm going to go see my second theatre show of the week. I was meant to be going with Jason to this one, but um, looks like he's been held up elsewhere, so a bit annoying. Backstory is Jason and I are going to get a car so we have a little bit more freedom in London, but he's caught up with finalising that and getting insurance for that car, so it doesn't look like he's going to make the show. So I've called a couple friends to see if one of them can come with me. If not, I'm going alone, but um, I really want to see the show, so I'm still going to go regardless, but it'd be nice to have someone with me. I'll talk to you later when I'm at the theatre and see what, what happens. May or may not have a friend. The verdict is, I'm going on my own, I just collected my tickets, and now I'm going to go run to Tesco, which should just be around the corner, and I'm just going to grab like a drink and stuff so I can chill. Woo! I'm out! The play was really good. I'll talk to you more about it when I get home. I'm going to hop on the tube. So that's me home. I have just gotten into my pyjamas and taken my makeup off, hence why my face might be a little red. I thought I would just sit down and chat to you guys about the show tonight because I appreciate weekly vlogs kind of quick fire through my week and I don't want to miss the chance to sit down and like reflect and talk about things. Tonight was really really interesting as I kind of hopefully shared I did go alone I didn't manage to get anyone to fill Jason's place in the end but at the end of the day you don't talk to anyone when you're sitting next to them at the theatre you are meant to be focusing on the show so it was actually completely fine the show itself was really really good it was a play and it was completely different to anything I've seen before. Um, it was very intense. It was basically consisting of two men on stage 
um, and they both kind of took it in turns to do chunks of dialogue each um, and then their storylines were told through those dialogues and then towards the end the kind of storylines twisted together which was really interesting and totally brought the audience along on this journey originally was a bit like whoa this is way too intense for me wouldn't be something i would regularly seek out so i'm glad that london theater sent me along and pushed me outside my comfort zone and got me to appreciate something a bit different and um tomorrow this is the one that i haven't been sent tickets to i bought tickets to this show literally a year ago now i'm seeing dear evan hansen tomorrow and i cannot wait i've been looking forward to this moment for a year that's tomorrow's musical. But I'm now going to head to bed because it's about 11 o'clock and I will talk to you guys in the vlog later. That's me. Finished work now and I'm going to go ahead to meet Jason. We're going to go to Covent Garden for food and then we are going to have a drink probably if we've got time and then go to the theatre to see Dear Evan Hansen tonight. So yeah, I'm just going to go to the tube station now and head to meet him. You came into my life and started a fire. You made me feel like I could tell <laughs> we have finished dinner and we're now in our seats. We're not like in amazing seats but we are in the stall so we can see really close to the stage. We're not looking down which is quite nice. And I've also just spotted someone I know who lives in Edinburgh and I never knew he was in London so they've obviously come down to London to see this show. So I'm going to try and catch them at the interval and say hi. Honestly, so weird. Good morning, it's Thursday today and I am going to head to work as per usual. This evening I have the charity ball which I think I briefly talked about at the start. I am bringing all my makeup and clothes with me to work and hopefully I'm gonna have a chance to be able to get ready. If not I might have to rock up to the ball and get changed in the toilets which is not glamorous but it's gonna have to happen because timings are so tight. Weirdly for this one the last entry for the event tonight is seven o'clock. If I miss my train, my first train from work, I'll be after seven so I don't know if I'll even get in tonight. We will see but I'll talk to you after work and see how we get on. That's the finished work now. I've done my makeup in the toilets of Witherspoons. That's very glamorous. Got changed in Witherspoons and now I'm waiting outside. Jason's coming from his work. His work is literally a six minute walk or something from here so he's just left and he's gonna meet me at the door with the rest of the people who we're going with today and hopefully it should be all right. I just don't feel very like ready and excited just because half the process of getting excited is through like getting ready properly and making yourself feel good and look good so that's always a bit of a rush and kind of taints everything but I will be fine once I get there and I am still excited and it should be good tonight. But I've always felt that something's missing until I found you right there in the crowd You came into my life and started a fire You made me feel like I could touch the sky, oh There's nothing missing now that you're my desire Now all I have to do is to make it mine Cause I know, and you know what we could be Like a song, like a poem this vlog. We got home pretty late last night and you can tell by my throat it's a little bit groggy but it's about 8 in the morning right now and I'm going to go into London today for work. I've got meetings at an agency in Camden so I'm going to head there now and tonight I am meeting a friend for dinner. I don't know how much I will vlog of this actually because it's kind of a group dinner with her friends and I'm the one that's been invited to join and I don't know many of them so I might feel a bit uncomfortable doing bringing out a camera so I'll talk to you guys later and see you soon. Hi everyone I am home now from 
dinner. I'm really sorry I didn't vlog any of it, but as I did say earlier before I went to work, literally all the people there I didn't know or I knew of, but had never really spent much time with, so it would be very weird bringing out a camera and I just did not feel like it was appropriate, but dinner was lovely. Um, my friend and her flatmate made us all dinner and dessert and we had a couple of drinks. It was so really lovely and all the girls there were really, really nice and really funny and honestly had a really great time but I'm sorry I didn't bring out my camera. Um, it was just not the right situation. I'm going to wrap this vlog up and finish it now because I'm going to go to bed. And also it's the weekend tomorrow so this was just a kind of weekday vlog so it's the weekend tomorrow so that means this vlog is coming to an end. Um, I hope you enjoyed, I hope it was interesting. I am sorry that like literally when I work that takes up so much of my day so when I do a weekly vlog like each day is pretty short, it's like a couple hours in the evening. I'll see you soon in my next video, please leave a like, feel free to leave a comment and I'll see you soon, bye! I sat down by the ocean It's that tears that I feel Fill up with emotions